What's up guys, welcome back. In this video, I wanna go over how I rewired my lights to work properly. Now, when I went to repaint all this and took it off and had it sanded and painted, there was actually no wires in the light housing right here. So, I thought this was a perfect opportunity to go over how I ran my light wires, what worked and what didn't work. So hopefully this helps you guys out and let's go ahead and jump into this. Firstly, I want to go over what did not work and this particular ground wire setup was one of the things that did not work for me. I tried and tried but could not get the lights to come on. So I want to show you what I did instead to get the lights to work properly. Alright, so what I've done is I have ran two separate color wires through this hole black for the hot and blue for the ground and that way I can connect everything directly. All right, let's keep going. If you guys can find this particular piece at any hardware store, I would go ahead and get it. There's different variations, but this piece, it is a little pricey, but it comes in handy when you're working on this. Because what I've done here is I've ran the two left and right wires, and I'm going to connect them into two of those open ports. And then I'm going to take the hot wire from the battery and connect it in the last open port so it completes that whole hot circuit. Next, I need to come around and take apart this old worn out toggle switch for the lights and replace it with this brand new shiny one. I think with all the custom work I've been doing with this tractor, this new modern toggle switch is going to fit right in and look great. Now it's not necessary to have an inline fuse installed, but I went ahead and put one in for that just in case moment that I have an issue with the battery that could potentially damage my lights. It's a good little buffer to have. Next I'm going to route the wire behind the toolbox there and thread my toggle switch through that opening, which I didn't show in this clip because I'm going to go directly to the negative wire and what I did here with an alligator clip where I could directly attach it to the negative terminal connection point here. That way everything's directly connected to the battery. And this is what I was talking about. This was the only thing that I could get to work. The other way didn't work at the very beginning I showed you, but this works perfectly. Now let me show you guys. And there you have it, properly functioning lights. All right guys, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe and catch me on the next one.